Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria 2020 NPC Olympics video. We are here with the second round of the contender rounds and it is everyone's favorite event, smashing my bros, no homo. So yeah, this is the second event that's gonna be making a reappearance from the last NPC Olympics. There will be two old events and then two new events, if you guys didn't know already. And uh, this is the second old event next to the racing one. And we got us some competitors here today. Now the competitors I've selected you may have seen before but the main reason that they have been specifically chosen is because they're the only ones that put up a decent fight i did a bunch of testing and some npcs they're just really stupid don't do anything okay mostly all npcs do that but the ones i have chosen i think they're gonna give us the best fight we can get but let us check out our whole new arena here you know there's a little more to it there's a little more to it this time around as you can see we got the little spears on the side there that stab out and uh, those things are beautiful you know they help out a lot if an npc falls off the stage at the wrong moment they can get pierced by some spears easily and as you can also see you know if they do fall off and don't get hit by the spears then we got these right here these brass ring fans from the enigma mod but i had these fans specifically modified just for this video thanks to logic the creator of the enigma mod and you know these ones specifically will shoot around npcs but not projectiles or anything if an npc falls off then they have a way to get back on the stage and continue fighting but if they you know fall short or somehow fall long i don't know get hit by the spears and shoot out here then they are falling into the lava and you may also notice that we have these little cages out here too other than you know the main npc cages up here and these cages are gonna be to put an enemy in so that npcs don't do that thing in previous fights where they go to the corner and just stand there and do nothing now they might still do that because npc ai especially with mods that tweak npc ai is very very stupid i don't know whose fault it is relogic spaghetti code or the fact that the ai is tweaked a little bit but yeah hopefully the fight should be interesting we're doing best of three so whoever wins two moves on to the next round and uh, we're gonna be having eight npcs which means we're gonna be having four matchups at the beginning whoever wins that goes next round whoever wins that goes to the final round so in the previous event there was a total of four winners that went to the npc olympics but in this event we're gonna be doing the top two npcs so say if you know the last two npcs they fight and then one wins the one that wins and the runner up they're going to the npc olympics which means that we'll be taking two npcs from this event and then the next two events will be taking one npc from each of those and that should equal out to eight npcs to compete in the npc olympics but let's go ahead and get into our first round all right so our first matchup here is the corruption fangirl versus the crimson fangirl this is an ultimate matchup is the corruption versus crimson and the music that is playing right now is the grand thunderbird theme a beautiful theme from thorium but yeah let's begin round one let's see how it goes i'm very interested to see how this goes and uh you know maybe this will be super competitive or maybe it will be a one-way thing you know one npc just completely takes over now the npcs are known to shoot upwards i'm not standing up there i'm standing directly in the middle of both of them i'm just untouchable so i have no idea why they shoot up because you know i used to think that they shot up there because that's where usually i would be but i am right in front of both of them right in the middle of both of them so you think they would shoot straight if they're trying to shoot me but yeah as we can see the crimson fangirl is not doing good most of her shots are going over the corruption fangirl and the corruption fangirl takes round one all right we are here with round two the competitors have switched sides let's see if that changes the fight at all i have no idea let's get into it now the crimson fangirl was terrible in that last round she keeps shooting up or she shoots slightly over i don't know man she's just bugging look at her look at her when i was doing practice they were doing fine they were having nice battles but you know i guess she has changed her mind maybe she's too nervous to be in the npc olympics and represent for the crimson but you know i guess what's her name yolanda the corruption fangirl is gonna be moving on to the next round congratulations all right for our next round here we have the pick lock npc from the wacky npcs mod and we got the dealer npc from the useful npc mod both shady characters that wield a pistol so that's what they have in common i think they actually wield a magnum the testing i put them against they seem very fair but we'll see here today it could be a totally one-sided fight just like the last fight was let's see ready begin who will take this w i'm going with the pick lock dude because he got a cool little briefcase but you never know the dealer what is he dealing with is he dealing drugs is he dealing the 1.4 update early who the hell knows both very rare things to get your hands on oh we may see the first use of the stage recovery from the pick lock npc 
he gets a good spot but will he capitalize on it he's missing his shots and as we can see the dealer npc ai has straight up broken and this is something that happens you know if he doesn't want to fix himself then that's just too bad that is just too bad the picklock npc was in a bad situation but he takes the w what a turn of events here early on in smashing my bros no homo all right let's see if the picklock npc will shut out the round or will the dealer put up a fight let's see maybe the dealer will just walk back to the side and not do anything maybe they both won't do anything oh the picklock taking the first shot okay the dealer going to the left just like he did in the last round what happened to you why were you having a fair fight when i was doing testing but you don't want to do anything now oh well so be it congratulations to the picklock npc honestly he deserves the win after the recovery and then taking advantage of recovering he honestly deserves the w all right so our third matchup here might be a little bit familiar because we have npcs that have competed in the past and i didn't want to do this but a bunch of npcs would just not fight correctly so we did have to reuse some but i'm pretty sure none of these npcs compete in the actual olympics so lucky them they get to compete again but here it goes the diver man versus the blacksmith begin your first fight now this this should be a legit fight they're hitting themselves now during testing sometimes npcs hit themselves sometimes they don't i really don't know the npc combat mod is a very like not consistent mod and i don't know why they're hitting themselves but you know so be it that's what you have to deal with if you don't like it and think it's unfair make your own goddamn npc combat mod moving straight into the next round of this fight the diver man up one against the blacksmith can the diver man take it home they both hit themselves sometimes i think the main reason why they hit, they hit themselves is if they move where they shoot their projectile if they do that they're pretty much walking into their own projectile the whole coding behind making an npc fight in another npc is very weird is super weird the blacksmith loki coming back but i think he's gonna kill himself damn he put up a good fight there at the end but you know he just hit himself honestly it makes sense because he's throwing like a slab of magma like you can't just hold magma i think we are here on our final matchup we have the white cultist from the white cultist mod who would have thought and the hunter npc from the helpful npc mod let's see them in action these two were also handing out fair fights going back and forth and testing but you know testing and the actual fight completely different it's just like sports practicing is way different than actually competing you know live and in game against actual competition but let's see here today who's gonna take the w between these two now the cultist has a piercing attack which should help in certain situations, but I don't think it's gonna help much today in a straight line. Colt is very close to the edge, but he is maintaining, or it, she, whatever, is maintaining that ledge but the cultist was not maintaining its health the cultist honestly tried to kill that slime over here more than it tried to kill the hunter all right we are here with the next round the hunters up one is weird i'm seeing completely different outcomes now than when i was in testing uh the cultist was taking i think every single round against the hunter or not every single round but you know what i mean i think the cultist may or may not be hitting themselves no i don't know i i don't think the cultist is hitting himself but yeah he has the advantage so far in this fight oh my god knocked him into the lava wow what a turn of events here in the second round of this fight let's move on to the third see who takes it home all right here we are the third and final round i'm excited here i think the hunter is gonna take it the hunter got a little nervous in that second round but the first round he was dominant let's see let's see you never know we have not seen the spears come into play yet the spears are very dangerous they can chunk you if you get hit by the spears or if their hitbox is like on the side when the spears come out they can also get hit but i think the hunter might take it unless the cultist goes on a tear the hunter might take it the goddamn cultist killed the slime that's kind of like a dq so i'm glad the cultist lost congratulations hunter you are moving to the next round all right we are in the second round and we are doing the first winner which was the corruption fangirl and we are doing the last winner which is the hunter let's see if the hunter can keep it going on his hot streak or if the corruption fangirl will have anything to say i have not seen these two fights so this is where things may be unfair and unbalanced oh well who the hell cares let's get to it I think the Corruption Fangirl might take this. I think her projectiles are a lot faster, but the Hunter is very consistent with his projectiles. He's very consistent with standing on that ledge. I don't know. He's just standing there. Look at him. Watch him. Will he move? No. See, this is what I have to deal with. You guys don't understand. Come on, sir. Just move a little bit here. I, I can grab this slime. Oh, fuck. I killed it. <laughs> okay, the Hunter is back on stage. It took a little finagling there. Let's see if he stays on stage. Oh. 
You did it to yourself, honestly. You deserve it for wasting my time. You know, one thing I will say about this new arena type is that we're getting some interesting outcomes. We're getting people falling in lava. We are getting people recovering from falling off the stage and then getting a W. And we're just having straight up brawls on the platform itself. So this is very cool. We still haven't seen a spear kill, which is kind of upsetting. I, I really want to see that. But let's see the second round against these two. The hunter got scared like usual. I don't know. The hunter's playing weird. He gets really nervous or he's on it. And it looks like this time he's just on it. Maybe he prefers starting on the right side. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention what side he's been winning on, but he is going off. He is pissed off about that last fight. It was all his fault anyways. He just wanted to stand still, but oh my God, he destroyed her in that round. You know what? We're going to keep the hunter on the right side and the corruption fangirl back on the left side. Same thing and see if the hunter takes the win or not. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm excited for this. Let's see who's going to take the W and move on to the final round. Begin. Is the corruption fangirl going to come out swinging this time or is the hunter gonna continue his tear from the last round we're gonna see this looks like a close fight if the hunter can knock her off into the lava or even into the spears it would be an amazing play the hunter has to make a move because he's getting blasted by her right now he has to keep up the consistency or else he's gonna lose this is a close fight this is a close fight oh my god that was as close as it could get that fireball almost came up and hit him after she died what a great battle between the corruption fangirl and the hunter who would have thought that would be the most intense fight that we saw today we are here with our final fight of the second round or semi-finals whatever you want to say and hopefully the diver man doesn't shoot himself i don't know we're gonna see but uh i'm rooting for the pick lock nbc just because that cool little briefcase he has but uh let's see who wins let's begin and i i just think the pick lock nbc is gonna win just because the diver man shoots himself maybe he's gonna stop shooting himself look that time he didn't shoot himself but then the shot before he shot himself it seems when he shoots up he guarantees shoots himself and you know you, you hate to see it but what can i do man what can i do i can't just be like hey stop i try i just tried right there you saw that it didn't work but i believe the pick lock is gonna take this with no problem the diver man doing most of the damage to himself congratulations pick lock npc on to the next round now you may be wondering why is there no melee characters in this because melee characters are way more stupid than range characters but they're both equally stupid because they're npcs but let's do it second round let's see who wins oh a little stare down at the beginning the diver getting hits off early the diver almost knocked the pick lock npc off if he keeps that up with the knockback i can see the diver making a comeback easily 100 percent but this is for the finals it looks like the diver man might be taking the l he might be taking the l unless he puts up some more shots without hitting himself i don't know man this is looking bad for him diver man doing a little bit of a uh, wave dashing over there in the left corner but he's still hitting himself here and there i think he's gonna kill himself he's gonna kill himself that or the npc the pick lock npc is gonna get the assisted suicide something like that he's killing himself you hate to see it what a poor way to go there's not much we can do there congratulations pick lock npc you are going to the final round against the hunter i mean either way even if he loses to the hunter he's still going to the npc olympics so congratulations let us begin the final round who would have thought that this would be the matchup from all the wacky and crazy npcs we had we have a dude known as the hunter who lives in the forest and probably fucks bears and we have an npc that picks locks for a living who the hell would have thought let us begin the first of the final round and i have no idea who's gonna win this honestly these are both wild cards the hunter honestly you feel like he's a hunter you think he would win no pro oh my god what an upset here in the first round of the final fight congratulations his name is hunter the hunter oh yeah he deserves to lose all right this could be it the pick lock npc can take it home right here let us see if the hunter is going to put up a fight or if the picklock npc is just going to run away run away with it but as we can see here the picklock npc he's on the he's on the edge already this can be bad this can be bad or it can be good maybe he can make a comeback oh our first spear trap kill wow what a combo the great timing from the hunter npc to knock off the pick lock npc right when the spears came out whether or not he did that intentionally congratulations to the hunter we are moving on to the third and final round winner takes all not really because they're both going to the olympics but still you know even though there's no real stakes or anything to lose from losing this fight because they're both going to the npc olympics it's still intense i'm still very interested to see who wins let us begin the final round the hunter versus the pick lock npc who's gonna take it all the hunter doing his strat that he does when he's on the left side for some reason going all the way to the corner and standing there now the real question is will he fall into the lava or will he fall into the spear trap the pick lock npc can have his way with the hunter oh my god what a way to go out an upsetting way no that's probably what happens when your name is hunter but congratulations to the picklock npc you 
and the hunter are moving on to the npc olympics congratulations to both of you actually so yeah congratulations again to these two npcs for making it to the npc olympics ready to represent for their mod even though there might be other npcs from their mod already in it but yeah shout out to reb miami for making the npc combat mod i know it's a little janky he did the best he can uh maybe i'll go around asking you know developers that have a lot of experience like hamstar nova prime Atorius, you know people like that and see if we can you know get a bunch of minds together and make like a legit npc combat mod i don't know but i like this this, these fights were a lot more intense than previous fights because you know there's a lot more going on there's a whole recovery system there's the spears on the end there's the two slimes in the cage to keep the enemies from or keep the npcs from just running to the edge but sometimes npcs do what npcs do they act dumb but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will leave all the names of the mods in the description and all the mods will be located on the team mod loader mod browser shout out to the creators of all these mods but yeah that's gonna end the second terraria 2020 npc olympic contender round we're gonna be moving on to the third one and the fourth one which will be the last two before the olympics and uh, those ones are going to be very exciting i know what i'm doing for the third one no idea what i'm doing for the fourth one but uh, i'll figure out something i don't know maybe we'll just have the npcs do musical chairs again but yeah thank you everybody for watching thank you for 200k i don't the 200k special should be out eventually i don't know bye bye, -bye.